So I'm on the go, I'm at home, and I finished one of my holiday projects. It's a scarf, a pattern that I found on Ravel uh, Ravelry. It's a Tunisian pattern um, that I created for my brother's a men's scarf. And I need to finish it to send it to him. So I need to block it, but I don't have any blocking material. So I'm going to attempt to block this scarf uh, using two hair clips. So let's take a look at what's about to be done and let's see if it actually works. So I'm filling the sink up with some lukewarm water. I wish I had some essential oils. My favorite is lavender to give it a little scent and I did not have any woolies. So I just wanted to soak it so that I could make sure that it has a good shape and the sides are pretty even. So after draining the water from the sink, I tried to be as gentle as possible and squeeze out as much of the water from the scarf as possible without manipulating it too much so that I can move on to the next step which is to squeeze as much of it out as possible before drying. So I placed the towel on the floor and I placed the scarf on top. The scarf is pretty long, it's about 70 inches, so I folded it in half, it's way longer than the actual towel. And I folded the towel on both sides across and then I rolled the towel up nice and tight all the way to the end because my goal was to get as much of the water out as possible and so now all you'll see me doing is rolling and pushing down as hard as possible to get as much of that excess liquid out so that it could speed up the drying time um, and to kind of avoid smells like mold from it being too moist and drying slowly and the main reason why I'm trying to block this uh, scarf is because I felt like the ends were not even and so I wanted to even it out and just make sure that the width of the scarf was pretty even throughout. So uh, once I felt like I soaked, took out as much of the liquid as possible, then I put it on the towel rack that's in my mom's bathroom. Now I, I tried this um, just to see how it would come out um, just as a test. I figured that I could hang it there and let gravity do the work to do the stretching of the actual scarf. Um, and I used the hairpins. I believe those are hairpins, not bobby pins or straight pins, or maybe they're bobby pins. Um, but I got the long ones. My mom had two, and so I just used whatever I had. And I put them at the ends because I wanted to make sure that the ends were the same width um, as well as the same length. And so I secured it down at the bottom and left it overnight. And what I noticed that overnight that the top was dry, the bottom was still not dry, and... I also noticed that it was kind of stretched out um, and that's because gravity allowed the heavy scarf to pull down um, and I don't think I necessarily like that so much because then you can see all the spacing in the pattern and I don't really like the pattern when it's spaced out. I like the leaf look when it's nice and tight. Um, and you don't see so much spacing in between each of the stitches. But that was something I learned. And then so the next day I noticed that, hey, it's still pretty wet. Um, and so I removed it from the bathroom and I put it on the towel, um, folded in half, and I used the bobby pins to adhere it to the bottom of the towel. And that actually worked much better, kind of like if you had clothespins and you would adhere the clothespins to it. So I'd definitely try that again if I'm on the go. Thanks for watching. And if you have any tips for blocking on the go, make sure you put it in the comments.